So, let's go back in time. How about to, uh, oh, I don't know, 2009. 2009 is a very important year for all the Call of Duty fans for the simple fact that after the huge hit that was Call of Duty 4 back in 2007, um, well, the war came out a year later in 2008, but not many people were sold on the idea of World at War. And, you know, that's fair enough. I personally enjoyed the game. However, 2009 is where we experienced Modern Warfare 2 for the first time. I think everybody, I, I don't think that there is a person that did not see the trailers for Modern Warfare 2 with the, you know, high, with this map, High Rise, you know, AC-130 and, and, you know, whatever, all the crazy kill streaks, because we were just used to, we were just used to, you know, your standard UAV with Airstrike and the Chopper. And also, you know, just the three standard kill streaks and World at War. So let's go back in time to the premiere of Modern Warfare 2 and the unfortunate, I guess, future that was to come for Modern Warfare 2. Now, the initial response was absolutely insane. I was so hyped for Modern Warfare 2. I don't think I was ever hyped for any other, like, multiplayer game as I was for Modern Warfare 2 just to fucking experience it. I mean, it looked fantastic from the trailer. I don't think there was a person that was not excited. You know, and I'm just speaking out of terms. I'm just, you know, generalizing. But, you know, just bear with me. Uh, so it was it was a tremendous hype surrounding this game. And, and rightfully so, because this was this was new. This was, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 2. The follow-up to the fucking revered Call of Duty 4. You know, critically acclaimed. And it was amazing, but... <laughs> the unfortunate reality set in very, very quickly. And this is a commentary about how I hated, hated this game. But then I got to appreciate it for, I guess, what it was and what a wasted potential it was. So when Modern Warfare 2 first came out, I, of course, got on a bandwagon of hype and I was super hyped up for the game. When I first got the game, I mean, I could not put it down. I think the first day when I got it... I mean, I actually got it, like, a week before. I spent hours and hours and hours on the multiplayer. Holy shit. I mean, it was insane. And there was a lot of people... Well, maybe not a lot, but there was a, quite a few people who got it early. And, uh... So there was always somebody to play with. But maybe, like, two months later, or, or a month and a half later... Boom! One man, ar one man army glitch came out. You know, everybody learned about Commando, and that just pissed me the hell off. I mean, I, like every other person, was expecting a patch. You know, because it wouldn't it wouldn't be this difficult, or at least in my eyes, to, you know, to produce a patch for this game. Uh, however, the, the uh, sad truth was that we didn't get a patch. We didn't get anything patched, really, aside from a few glitches on fuel, which were, you know, useless or whatever. No patches came out for Commando, no patches came out for One Man Army, no patches came out for the boosting. And everybody lost their shit. I mean, I was one of them. I stopped posting Modern Warfare 2 because it was... It was garbage. It was fucking garbage back then. And then, with, with the future releases of Call of Duties, uh... You know, even with Black Ops 1, I got this urge to play Modern Warfare 2 again. I mean, it was a... I was like... Oh my god, you know, I hate this game. I, I promised I would never go back to it. It's garbage, it's commando, it's for noobs, blah blah blah. But something drew me in. And I really disliked Modern Warfare 2. I mean, I really did. And I'm sorry for this free-for-all. It's not complete because my frames started dropping. Because, again, I still don't have the hard drive. I didn't end up buying it. So this is just a part of it. But, needless to say, timer ran out. And you really didn't miss anything. Uh, so, yeah, so this, that was back in the day, you know, I started posting Black Ops 1, and then when Black Ops 1 hype was over, I'm like, what the hell am I gonna play? And I released Modern Warfare 2, and people went absolutely nuts. I mean, I thought I was the only one that got this urge to play Modern Warfare 2 again, but I wasn't. You know, after you, after you look past the, the one-man army and the noob tubes and the commando, this game is fantastic, this is hands down you know, if not the best multiplayer experience for Call of Duty. It's just plain stupid fun. You run around, you kill people, you get kill streaks, that's it. No complicated no complicated bullshit, no anything. You got your perks, you got your attachments, you got your kill streaks, boom, that's it. 
But you know, sad to say, for the most part of the of the game's lifespan, it was it was unplayable. I mean, thank God for four Delta One. Thank God for you know the community coming together and managing to create you know dedicated servers, something that this game desperately needs. And this is not four Delta One. This is the standard Modern Warfare Two on the PC. And everybody that joins, you have to keep their eye on him because there's a potential hacker in there. Punk Buster does nothing to prevent hacks on Modern Warfare 2 uh, on the PC. And I don't want to go on, on the PS3 Modern Warfare 2 because it's hacked to shit. Uh, so I'm left with PC and I'm, you know, fingers crossed for Delta 1 will go, will go back up again. But this is my story, so if you had a similar story in regards to Modern Warfare 2, be sure to tell me in the comment section below that you hate this game, you know, after it came out, and then all of a sudden realize that it's, it's not that bad, it's actually pretty damn great. If, and only if, it got the support. Because at this point in the game, it's still broken. People noob tube, infinite noob tubes, uh, with scavenger, danger close, commando, boosters, nukes, the whole nine yards, it's still there, it's it's not fixed, but damn it, it's it's just plain stupid fun. So if you guys enjoyed this commentary, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much. This is Krahu. See you guys next time.